Welcome, everyone. Uh, today, we are going to explore how to craft uh, and refine prompts to make the most of generative AI, like ChatGPT or DALI. Uh, we will discuss the best practices and look at the examples to show how a well-crafted prompt can provide impressive AI-generated results. What is a prompt? A prompt is a specific instruction provided to an AI system to guide in generating a response. Purpose of a prompt, well, giving a direction to AI and to specify the type of response or outcome. A prompt is uh, essentially the way we communicate with AI, telling it what we want to do. The clearer and more detailed the prompt, the better AI response will be. Think of it like a question. If you ask something vague, you will get a vague answer. But if you are specific, you will get a more tailored response. Types of prompts, we have descriptive, conversational, and instructional. For each of those, we got examples um, here, and we could try to put some of those examples or anything different that you can use, but this is the difference between those types and depending really on your needs, so what do you need it to. Descriptive uh, prompts ask the AI to paint a picture while uh, conversational ones are useful for dialogue or explanation. Instructional prompts are, are for when you need to an AI to follow exact instructions. So, for example, we said summarize this article in three bullet points and give it a go in chat GPT or any, if you use any of other uh, generative AI and see how you go. Refining your uh, prompt. There's just three listed here, so use um, iteration, experiment, and avoid ambiguity. Uh, one of the best ways to refine prompts is through iteration. AI may give you a basic response at first, but you can tweak your prompt to get closer to what you um, envision. The key is to experiment and eliminate ambiguity. Uh, initial prompt, say, for example, what are digital skills, refined prompt will be list and explain five essential digital skills needed for remote work, including examples of how each skill can be applied. Another way is um, for the initial prompt, say, write a story, and then refined prompt will be write a short story about a cat that discovers a hidden world using a maximum of 300 words and incorporating the themes of the friendship and adventure. You can try by yourself doing the initial prompt and refined prompt using a co-pilot or chat GPT. And this slide will explain the best practices for AI prompting. To maximize the um, effectiveness of the, your prompts, remember to be as clear as possible, specify the tone, and indicate the length of the response you need. Including the keywords can further guide the AI in crafting um, a response that's on point. And these prompts um, give clear instructions on tone, length, and focus helping the AI generate a more targeted response for the patron's needs. As it is an example at the bottom of the page, we will see what the chat GPT response will be in the next slide. And this is the chat GPT response. Um, it's actually not too bad. Give us a 139 words. Um, and we can also we all change the this the prompting and make it more to be focused on libraries for example or online banking government forms or healthcare just depends uh, when we will be satisfied with the, with the response yeah but pretty good common prompting mistakes is uh, very good examples here uh, but it's easy to fall into common pitfalls like being too vague or making uh, your prompt overly complex the AI needs to understand what 
you are asking and providing too much at once uh, can overwhelm it. But it's saying, well, it's a good example here, say, um, two way, tell me something about history. So basically it could be anything or what part of the history. So you need to be more specific. Improved examples and way too specific, tell me about key events in a World War Two which you will get much better answer than the respond. But um, yeah, tell me a, uh, something about history. It's just um, you can get even a um, question from um, generative AI asking you what part of the history of world or uh, year or something like that, then you can make, you can be more specific. Moving to advanced prompting techniques. Uh, we have three main ones, which, which is chain prompting, breakdown tasks into steps. Conditional prompts include conditions uh, for responses, and a good example is there. So if it's something more than 200 words, then you make it shorter or make it longer. So that could be the, the longer response over 200 words or up to 500. Uh, role play prompts um, ask the AI to take on a specific role. Uh, which is a good example there to pretend you are on a HR manager explaining employee benefits. Um, as you become more comfortable with the prompting, try more advanced techniques like chain prompting or role play. This allow you to guide the AI more interactively. And um, here are some uh, practical examples of prompts for different AI systems. Um, this includes uh, text-based AI like ChatGPT or Copilot and image-generating uh, AI like DALI. Um, you just notice how each prompt provides enough context to guide the AI's um, output. I just make one, um, the image example made by DALI and just give it instructions. I create an image of a robot reading a book in a futuristic library. And it looks really good. And to wrap up this session, remember that effective prompting is about being specific and clear. Um, don't be afraid to um, iterate. And once you master the basics, try experimenting with more complex techniques. Um, generative AI is a powerful tool when used um, effectively. Thank you for attending today's session. Um, feedback and questions, please scan the QR code. Thank you. Until next time.